Hey guys. So I picked this prop up at Lowe's tonight. Um, I was surprised to find our Lowe's had, not fully stocked, but they had a lot of their stuff already out. Um, she was the only one that we seen, and she was not on display. They only had one, like, big prop on display. The rest were all inflatables, that kind of thing. Um, so I went ahead and took a chance on her. I typically don't buy these type. She was $64.99. Um, as you can see, it says the batteries, so I kind of steer clear from that. But I love the concept of this one, so I went ahead and took a chance. But when I pulled her out of her box, this is what I found. <laughs> So her nose has seen better days, obviously, <laughs> but, um, you know, all in all, I thought she looked pretty, looked pretty creepy, you know, she's kind of a little bit different than your, the same props, you know, that you see every year. So I, I, I liked that the concept of her was a little bit different. I always like finding the different ones. The more demented ones are usually the ones I, <laughs> I don't know, I gravitate towards, uh, I guess I'm a little weird on that one, but, you know, I find them better than, like, your average clown or, you know, just your typical Halloween stuff that you see, ghouls and stuff like that. So her hands are a hard plastic. They're solid. And her dress is kind of see-through. Um, depending on the light, uh, it is type, you know, it is kind of see-through. Um, it looks like it's got, like, creepy cloth. I like the, you know, the creepy cloth material uh, over the top. So that's what the top layer is. It is the kind of the noisy material. Kind of reminds me of the windbreakers from the 90s. <laughs> but uh, she has a little try me button right here. Yeah, that's how she looks so far. All right, let me show you the base. Oh no, she is falling apart. Uh, there's pieces laying on the ground. Is that connected? Surely not. Oh my god, no, it's just it's just fluff. <laughs> okay. Not a good sign. But anyway, her stand is made of metal. And it says before and after. Now, I don't know why it says that, because uh, that makes no sense. But <laughs> it's just a stand that you put these little poles on. There's three of these poles, and they are um, plastic. So that's her front. Let's take a look at her back. And I don't have it open. Let's open that back up. Okay. So when it comes to the nose, I couldn't fix it. I looked back here, and it's it's solid blow mold. There's there's no way that I can get into it to pop it back in place. So that was disappointing. But she has a wire that runs here and down to this part of her. This part of her is made really cheap. I am so disappointed with this part. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, as you can see, you know, she only has off and sensor. <sighs> I've stated in all my videos, I do not like the props that are censored. Uh, you know, the, just the sensors don't work for me half the time. They are a hit and a miss, you know. <sighs> That's just from my personal experience, but that was a, like a real disappointment for me. But then I seen that there was like tape. And when I remove the tape, it has the try me. And I got excited for a minute thinking, oh my God, I could put my try me button in there. But then if you look, it is hollow. <laughs> so I guess that's why they have the tape on there. Because there, there's nothing to stick your try me button into. So, or your step pad into. Yeah, that's, that's a disappointment there. So, hmm. Anyway... I do love the way she looks, though. Um, there's no way to fix her nose, unfortunately. But let's go ahead and see her in action. Wow. That is so cool. I do, I love, I love that so much. That is so creepy. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> So she is nice and loud. I just wish there was a way that I could fix that nose. And uh, let me see something real quick. No, it's solid. There's no way. Hmm. Okay, guys, so... 
she was $64.99 from Lowe's and all in all you know for $64.99 I can't complain I think she's decent for that price if you're in a well-lit area I think she'll work you know great she's censored so it's you know as soon as the shadow hits she'll be going off unfortunately you know for a haunt that stays dark these kind of things just don't work too well that's my fault I shouldn't have assumed you know, that she would have a try me button or a step pad compatible. That was my fault because it didn't say it on the box. And I went ahead and I risked it anyway. So I can't, you know, blame anybody but myself. So that's what it said there. Sound sensor. So the reason why I went ahead and got it anyway is the only prop that they actually had out was by the same company. And it was a zombie. I actually have a video of that. I'll upload that as well. But, um, and the boxes, when I compared the two boxes, it said sound sensor only as well. So, you know, I thought, okay, well, here I was pushing its, the its step pad. So I thought, okay, it's the same company. It doesn't say it on the box. This one has it. So this one would too. That was completely my fault, you know, for assuming that it would. So that's all on me. But anyway. $64.99, guys. I do think she's a good prop for $64.99. Unfortunately, she's just not going to work for where, you know what I need her to work for. But uh, she is creepy looking. I absolutely love the way she looks. So let's see this one more time. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love that so much. Uh, unfortunately, this one will be going back. Um, I don't think I will exchange her either just because... No... Man, I really wish you would have had a, the button compatible. That would have sealed the deal for me. Anyway, guys, if you're interested in her, she is at low $64.99. Bye, guys.